Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card using our Gladiola Cheer and Gingham Plaid Layering Cover Plate die. So we're going to be doing some watercoloring today with this beautiful floral cluster. So what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of watercolor paper out that matches up with our Gladiola Cheer cluster. And then I white heat embossed this image onto that piece of watercolor paper. So I stamped with some Versamark ink, spooned on some white embossing powder and hit the whole card with my heat tool. And now I have this beautiful embossed image of this Gladiola cluster. Today I'll be watercoloring using Dr. PH Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolors and with some Pentel water brushes. I'm using one fine tip and one medium tip water brush for my painting. I'm essentially using that fine tip brush almost like a watercolor marker. I dip the end of that brush into my watercolor paint. I'm using persimmon, uh, that's the shade that I'm using for my undertone. So I dip that fine tip brush into the persimmon watercolor, added pigment onto my paper using that fine tip brush that's dipped in the paint. And then I use the medium tip brush to blend that watercolor out. I'm going to continue this process until I cover the entire gladiola with this undertone of persimmon watercolor paint. Next, I'm going to add my shading and I'm using my dark cherry watercolor paint and I'm adding the dark cherry to the inner portions of my petal. That's where I want the darkest uh, shading to be. And I'm just continuing that process. I'm blending that color out, but I'm not blending it all the way to the edge because I still want that undertone of persimmon to show through. I kind of want a tone on tone look. But what I also do after the dark cherry, I add some orange watercolor paint to add a hint of brightness to my gladiolas. So I have three colors going on here uh, soon. I think uh, not here, not yet. Uh, I'm still working on that dark cherry. So here I'm finished with the dark cherry and now I'm adding orange watercolor paint. And you can see that it just adds a little bit more dimension and interest to my gladiolas because instead of being just one tone, we could have left it at that persimmon uh, undertone, but I wanted there to be a little bit more depth when you add the three colors together, it definitely draws your eye to the florals because it, they have the jewel tones. You have the three bright colors all mixed into one beautiful floral and they just look really, really nice. I am really loving the Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolor paints. They are concentrated so you can go dark or light with them. I am still in love with my color burst, but I just kind of wanted to use some of the other uh, supplies that I have in my stash. So I've been grabbing the Dr. PH Martin watercolors and I am loving them. They kind of add a jewel like tone to my painting and I'm loving it. So once I've painted the two large gladiolas, I painted the greens. I think the color is grass green and then I'm going to paint the two smaller florals and I use the persimmon and the dark cherry for the two smaller florals. There's no need to go that extra step for images that are smaller. You can if you want, but I chose not to. Once I finished my painting, I took the coordinating die and die cut this beautiful cluster. Here it is. Before you die cut though, make sure your panel is completely dried. Otherwise, uh, the tape that you hold the die down with might rip your paper. So make sure your uh, flower is completely dried. Next, I am going to start die cutting three panels using our gingham plaid layering cover plate dies. These are the coolest dies ever because you have three individual plates that you can layer together to create a plaid design or you can use each of these die cuts individually because they all have this piercing detail that is really beautiful and subtle and you can use them separately or together. Today, I layered all three together to create this gingham plaid tone on tone background. And this is what I'm gonna to use to pop up our gladiola cheer with some dimensional foam tape. 
once that's down, you can see that the brightness of the florals just pop against that white on white. Then I'm going to take my stash of Easy Expressions die cuts out. These I've created beforehand using uh, different colors of our dye inks, but I chose the gold embossed uh, sentiment for today. And once I chose the so very happy for you sentiment, I just popped it up onto our flowers. And then lastly, I'm just going to embellish our card using our clear dewdrop enamel dots. Look how pretty they are really subtle. We have a lot of tone on tone going on, a lot of interest, but your eyes are drawn to the nice bright watercolor gladiolas. So I made this card for our Instagram hop day two. I hope you'll head over to our Instagram, hop along, check out the rest of the projects by our design team members and special guests. We have some really, really beautiful inspiration. So be sure to hop along, follow everyone on the hop. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it regularly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.